Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the University of Central Lancashire, I'm delighted to warmly welcome you to this graduation ceremony. On this special day, we are here to proudly celebrate the achievements of our students. I now call upon the Vice-Chancellor, Liz Bromley, to give her address. Eminent guests, graduates and families, colleagues and friends of UCLan, good afternoon and welcome to this graduation ceremony and the celebrations that will begin for all of you here today. Graduates, well done, you have done it. And soon you will have a piece of paper to prove that you really have done it. Once you get to be as old as I am, you worry about forgetting things. But you can rest assured, one thing you will never forget is this very special day. It's special because today we are all creating a little bit of history, as this is the first time in 39 years that we have held our graduation ceremonies on campus. We decided to relocate the ceremonies to the university when the Guildhall's future became uncertain, because one thing we knew was that your graduation could not be uncertain. So I hope that what we have done to bring graduation home to campus will ensure that you and your families and friends have a day of celebration to remember. We all wanted to give you the best send-off possible because to get to where you are today has been a real test of your stamina and your determination to succeed. And you have demonstrated dedication and commitment every step of the way, working tirelessly to get to this important stage of your life's journey. The university, your university, is absolutely committed to ensuring that all of our students have the relevant learning, knowledge, skills, and experiences to thrive once you leave the university, wherever you come from and wherever you go next. What potential you have for the future. David Bowie said that tomorrow belongs to those who see it coming. And now it's time for you to think about your tomorrows, which will be all the brighter for having achieved your qualification here at UCLan. I hope that you have made the most of every moment of your time here. But don't rush through today. Enjoy every last minute of it. Share special moments with your friends from here and from home, and with your families <clears throat> who've been on this journey of learning with you. In 40 years' time, you will look back in wonder at the photographs, the fashions, the haircuts, and at the very young faces in the pictures, and again, you will remember this special day. Judy Garland, who you will know probably as Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, said, always be a first-rate version of yourself instead of a second-rate version of somebody else. So whatever your background, wherever you've come from, be proud of who you are, be proud of what you have achieved, and be proud of where you will go next as a first-rate graduate and as a global citizen. And so we come to the bit that you're really all waiting for, the moment to cherish and enjoy as you walk across the stage when your name is called as a graduand, but you leave the stage as a graduate of the university. Now, it's taken a lot of hard work to get you to this point, but do remember, you have also been very hard work. For those who have supported you throughout your studies, who've given you food, who've sent you money, and given you the strength to carry on to this point. So before all the clapping starts for you, should we have a round of applause for all those special people <laughs> celebrating with you? Now you don't need to worry, all the rest of the applause is just for you. And as you get your degree, and as you start life as one of our alumni, do keep in touch with us as you go into your future lives, because you will always be part of the UCLan family. And for the next half hour or so, 
be sure to clap and cheer and make this a day to remember for everybody here. Congratulations. Chancellor, the presentation of graduands and award holders will now take place. Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the School of Forensic and Applied Sciences. For a thesis entitled, The Antimicrobial Properties of Amyloidogenic Peptides, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Carlos Eduardo Proenca Familia. Master of Science by Research, Zoe Ainsworth. <laughs> Laura Cagle Lowry. <laughs> Master of Science in Criminal Investigation, Constantina Miorta Intogia. Amy Stevens. Jonathan Frederick Holmes. Master of Science in Archaeology. Heather Rachel Beckett. With the University Prize, Sean David Clayton. Mark Denham. Connor Rumble. With the University Prize, Chloe Scott. Adam Kevin Soden. <clears throat> Master of Science in Counterterrorism. Zach Thomas Holt Dunning. <clears throat> Master of Science in Financial Investigation. Rosina Gordon. Holly Pugsley. <clears throat> Master of Science in Forensic Science and Chemical Analysis. Kagato Prince Selway. <clears throat> Master of Science in Professional Practice early action. Dawn Elizabeth Kuzan. Matthew James Perman. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Airport Security Management. With the University Prize. <laughs> and keen with it, 
Sultan Muhammad S.A. Al Ali. Hamad Isa A.A. Al Fadhala. Khalid Jabir KHK Al Hadri. Rashid Hadi MH Al Hadri. <laughs> Salah Ali AM Al Hawal. Khalid Mayed M A Al Hababi. Hassan Isa H A Al Jaber. Fahad Sultan I A Al Kuari. With a university prize. Jasim Ahmed A. A. Al Mullah. <laughs> Nasser Abdullah S. G. Al Naimi. <laughs> Nasser Al Sawadi. <laughs> Abdul Rahman Nabil M. A. Alifia. Bachelor of Science in Airport Security Management. Nasser Bareik E.S. Al Samikh. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Environmental Management. Maha Khalifa Eni Al Musalham. Ellie Reynolds. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Geography. David Armstrong. <laughs> Lillian Butterworth. <laughs> with the University Prize. Jane Darcy Byrthwoods. <laughs> William Edward James Carter. <laughs> Jasmine Parkin. <laughs> Lauren Ann Stadska. Louise Catherine Mary Sutton. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Geography. Liam Colclough. <laughs> Bridget Lavery. <laughs> Francesca Leach. Amil Young, <laughs> Irfan Monmoniat, <laughs> Rebecca Joe Ovington, <laughs> David Tebbett, <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in archaeology. Lewis Greenway. <laughs> Stephen Huang. <laughs> Connor Milne. <laughs> Rohan Ramutar. <laughs> Logan Alexander Young. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Forensic Science and Anthropology. 
Clara Ashton. Daniel Peter Jack Austin. Bethany Karen Axford. <laughs> Natalie Baird. <laughs> David Bannister. <laughs> Daniel Bolton. <laughs> Caitlin Braun. Annalisa Caminarecci. <laughs> Samantha Joanna Corsi. <laughs> Quent Chenier. <laughs> Amy Cole. <laughs> Donna J. Greenwood. Megan Hebb. <laughs> James Hiley. <laughs> Jack Johnson. <laughs> Rhiannon Marie Kane. <laughs> With a university prize. Cheryl Ann Marsden McGlynn. <laughs> With a university prize, Hannah Grace Limbach. <laughs> Jessica Lowe. <laughs> Ellie Page Meadens. Holly Newman Rogers. <laughs> Victoria Priest. <laughs> ben Richings. <laughs> Geneva Scora. <laughs> Shafak Sadiq. Joanna Cristiana Lopez Silva. <laughs> Megan Louisa May Thomas. <laughs> Stephanie Lee Wansley. <laughs> Nile Walsh. Rachel Ward. <laughs> Chloe Beth West Richards. <laughs> Sophie Wilson. <laughs> Poppy Winstanley. Bachelor of Science with honors in Forensic Science. Nathan Adshead. <laughs> Megan Alice Ambage. <laughs> Maria Luis Bandera Ferreira Ramos. <laughs> Caitlin Barton. Amy Louise Cliff. <laughs> With the University Prize, Jade Helen Claire Fordham. <laughs> Brandon Elliot Fulton. 
Suliat Gabosh. Joseph Hadfield. <laughs> Natasha Jade Hall. <laughs> Tina Halligan. <laughs> Siobhan Marie Hamill. <laughs> Desiree Dorothea Marquardt. Emma Louise Morrison. Adam Ogden. Veronica Joanna Pilka. Christopher John Porter. Cameron Andrew Francis Small. Charlotte Taylor. Thomas Ward. Lena Jane Welch. Rochelle Wilkie Harvey. Jade Wright. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Forensic Science and Criminal Investigation. Chloe Tara Almond. <laughs> Madison Victoria Ashworth. <laughs> with a University Prize. Joanna Grace Baker. Lucy Barnes. Lucy Barrett. Alicia Bell. La Biba Oluwatoyan Fiera Bello. Chloe Amy Bolio. Amy Bow. Catherine Louise Brown. Harry Bulmer. Megan Jessica Calland. Hok Yi Chung. Brandon Chu. Adrian Benjamin Clayton. Katie Louise Creasy. Thomas Ian Davies. Tegan Eaton. <laughs> Courtney Gavin. <laughs> Jenna Lee Gibson. <laughs> Sandra Grace. <laughs> Stephanie Guarino. Caramel Marjorie Josepha Gums Romney. <laughs> Luke Harwood. <laughs> Emma Jessica Hindle. <laughs> Wendy, 
with the University Prize. Louise Holdaway. Lauren Hoff. Joe Hudson. Nicole Lingham. Danielle Jones. Dana Kelly. Charlotte Louise Lacey. Jenna Lloyd. Bethany Grace Millington. Bethany Malloy. Chloe Moon. Samira Musa. Kellyanne Moss. Lorena Naftanela. Lucy Painter. Zubair Pipperdy. Brianne Potter. Ali Sarah Powell. James Priestley. Keanu Armani Reed. Georgie Ridge. Lauren Robertson. Florence Eileen Shepherd. Natalie Smith. Rebecca Stephen. Philippa Stevens. Amy Louise Stalker. Susan Tittle. Lauren Tyson. Heather Wall. Bethany Ward. Bethany White. Paige Whitehead. Cheryl Wigham. Tony Williams. Kumira Zaman. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Forensic Science and Criminal Investigation. Mercedes Wright. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with honors in Archaeology and Anthropology. Sean Bramble. <laughs> Courtney Main Price. <laughs> Miranda Wareham. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with honors in biology. Meneza Butt.
Sundus Mohammed. With the University Prize, Amira Ishmael Patel. Mikhail Sheikh. Foundation degree in science in policing. Abdur Rahman Adam. James Joshua Atkinson. Kyle James Barrow. Patrick Broderick. Charlotte Elizabeth Brown. Simone Therese Brown. Adam Daniel Chapman. Taylor Croskell. Kyle Robert Darville. Sadie Amelia Rose Dutson. Marcus Peter Eccles. Megan Ann Fletcher Hurley. Nathan Thomas Floyd. Uwais Gajra. Hi, Andrew John Green. Jack Greenhouse. Yasmin Christy Atugia Hassan. Bethany Helen Heaps. Christopher Carmison. Amy Jane Kibble. Holly Louise Lett. Amy Louise Littrot. Alejandra Lopez Gonzalez. With the University Prize. Zachary Alexander Marsden. <laughs> Callum James McElhinney. <laughs> Harriet McIntyre. <laughs> Lydia Jane Richardson. <laughs> Bethany Roberts. Matthew Peter, James Shacklock. Ashad Abbas Shah. Sophie Louise Standing. Amina Tanvir. Bailey Wilson Taylor. Daniel John Taylor. Ross Thompson. Chloe Ann Tompkinson. Ella Sophia Trailer. Joshua Bartholomew Wiggins. Terence Joseph Wilkinson. Miles David Seth Wold. 
Adam Sean Wood. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with honors in forensic science and criminal investigation. Jack Kieron Whirl. Last but by no means least, Bachelor of Science with Honours in Airport Security Management, Hassan Abdul Hadi H A Al Ababi. <laughs> Chancellor. That concludes the presentation of awards from the School of Forensic and Applied Science. Chancellor, the presentations are completed. I call on Sophie O'Neill, Vice President for Activities from the Students' Union of the University of Central Lancashire to respond on behalf of those awarded today. Chancellor, honorary guests, excited graduates, proud family and supportive friends. My name is Sophie O'Neill and I'm the Vice President of Activities at UCLan. I'm so proud of everyone who sat here today. It is an honor to represent the students and speak on their behalf and to you all now. The reason you are all here for this speech means you have achieved something absolutely amazing. Not just a degree, but an experience, a journey, and a huge learning curve. The time spent getting to this point was not just academic learning. It was time for personal growth and discovery, and we all gather now to celebrate your massive triumph and share the excitement of what comes after your degree. Whether it's exploring the unknown, taking advantage of further opportunities, or taking the first steps towards your dream job, you did this and no one can take it away from you. Moving to university, possibly ages away from home and living in halls, or possibly commuting each day is nothing like anything else. You all put yourselves out there and came to UCLan to open yourselves up to higher education and opportunities whether you've been part of a sports club or society, or a course representative, or a volunteer. You put yourself out there and contributed positive change to yourself and the university. You also worked hard, like really hard. <laughs> Regardless of what course or background, university has its ups and downs, its highlights and its struggles. Whether you're doing all-nighters for that project, or trying to keep up with class while on placement, working a job or looking after a kid. But we cannot forget the good times. You've made friends with people you would not have met otherwise. And together you've smiled, sorry. <laughs> together. <laughs> Together you've smiled, supported, laughed and cried. <laughs> you will take moments like those with you as you continue your journey and you will have that bond for the rest of your lives. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's fine, I've only got a little bit left. <sighs> However, the magic does not stop now. You've shown everyone here exactly what you can do and that there's no stopping your potential. Keep growing and loving and learning. Say yes to those opportunities and do not be afraid. As you walked across that stage, remember that moment and take it with you as no one can take it away from you. 
On behalf of all the students here today, I'd like to say a massive thank you to both the university and the union staff for everything they've done. You've, your support has allowed these people to follow their dreams. I'd also like to thank all the guests that have come here today. You've supported the next generation of teachers, engineers, entertainers, politicians, and have shaped the lives of these graduates, so thank you. Congratulations, everyone, class of 2019. I hope you have the most amazing celebration. I now call upon the Chancellor, Ranveer Singh, to say a few words. I already prefer you to the last lot. They didn't clap for me when I came up, but uh, you're my favourites now, I promise you. Uh, no, but honestly, what a fantastic group of people you are. Uh, the manner in which you have shown your support for one another just during this ceremony shows exactly the kind of character that each of you have as individuals. And it also, to me, uh, I don't live up here anymore, but it's always a pleasure for me when I come back to my home county. You today have epitomized the spirit and the warmth and the friendliness of Lancashire. And no matter where you are all from, I know you're all from different places, but you will forever hold a little bit of Lancashire in your heart and Lancashire will always hold a bit of you in its heart because you have been part of the community here for so long. So I just want to congratulate you all, and I know it's really hot, so I'm going to be really quick, but I just want to say, if I can give you any advice, you know I'm a graduate from this university, uh, and I stand here as the Chancellor, which shocks me every single time I say that, but the very fact that I am standing here should tell each of you, no matter what your personal insecurities are, no matter what your small niggling doubts may be, and those doubts go grow and get smaller as you, as you go in life and things happen in life that you can't always predict. But the very fact that I am here will show each and every one of you that there is no limit to what your success can bring you and the joy it can bring you. All it takes, if I could go back to myself at your age, I would say trust your instincts. You know yourself better than even your parents know you. And so trust your instincts. When you're in that group situation at work, in your first job, and you feel slightly intimidated, find your voice and speak up. Because remember that other people may have good ideas in the room, but yours might be better, and they might be interested in what you have to say. Don't be shy. But also, I would say, don't let anyone define your success. You decide what your success will look like. And that can be anything. It doesn't just mean career. It means your life outside of work as well. So find that balance, look after yourselves, look after your mental health. We talk about that a lot these days, but it's really important. And never forget, whatever happens, wherever, wherever you go, you will get knockbacks. I've had knockbacks even really recently. And you just always have to go back to that little burning fire that you all have inside you, that spark that sits in there inside you today that brought you to this point. That will never go always recognize you have that spark and it will never go out. So never ever doubt yourself, trust your dreams, trust your instincts. And a friend of mine just finally once said to me, a really close friend of mine said to me, Ranvia, you are the most successful lazy person I know. And what she meant by that was, I hope, uh, was that actually I have always used the 80-20 rule, just naturally, and I think many of you will know what that is, where 80% of the time you do your job and you do it well. But there is 20% of the time in all of your jobs where it really matters, where you know the bosses are watching, where you know it's the big presentation, where you know it's the moment that could make you in that moment. Concentrate on maximizing your strengths. Don't bother trying to be amazing at everything because you'll exhaust yourself and nobody's amazing at everything. Find what your strength is in your given chosen career and pursue it doggedly. Because honestly, there's nothing like putting the hard work in and there's nothing as sweet as success as you have all found out today and no doubt you will find out in the future. Congratulations. I look forward to seeing all of you in the future in blistering careers. Well done.
So today is, of course, a day of great celebration for everyone here, and we need to make sure that we celebrate in an appropriate way. Family and friends, there's a great photo opportunity coming up, so you might want to have your cameras at the ready. Could I please ask all the graduates to stand and take off your mortarboards? Uh, this will be a great relief to many of you, as I've seen how precariously they've been balancing on your heads. So, in a moment, I'm going to ask you to wave your mortarboard, and as is the tradition at UCLan, you must wave as vigorously as you can in recognition of all your hard work and achievements. However, please do keep a tight hold of your mortarboard, as it is now yours to take home and keep. So, on a count of three, I want you all to wave your mortarboards in the air, and at the same time, I want everyone else to cheer three times. So here we go. One, two, three. Hip, hip! Hip, hip! Thank you all for that. Now, please be seated. So, as we bring this ceremony to a close, I would like to thank everyone who's been involved in making today such a happy and memorable occasion. And thank you all for coming and for sharing this special day with the university community. The platform party will now leave the stage and graduates, you will shortly be processing out of the hall. A university usher will prompt your row when you need to stand up. And please make sure you take all of your belongings with you. Guests, please may I ask that you all remain seated until the students have left the hall and you will then be able to rejoin your graduate in the Foster Building. Thank you.